<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to some girl crafts. Yes, a few months ago I made some man crafts by following five minute crafts for men. And this time it's the ladies turn. You know, I can't leave you out. Us girls need some crafts too. And as per usual, there might be a lot of sarcasm in this video. But in this video will be slightly different from the last one because on the last Minecraft video, all the crafts were on one single video. Five minute crafts girly, they spread all over the place. The amount of crap that is in their videos is unreal. It's taken me ages to find just anything that I want to do. So I think it's spread across three videos, the crafts that we're going to be doing today. And the first one is from 27 surprise and DIY ways to decorate your house. And of course the audio will be muted because I don't want to get a copyright claim. So we've got a stool, some padding, a piece of fabric, tied into a knot, tied into another knot, turn it over, stable, 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 stable easy made tufted stool. Fantastic, I think that is something I can do. Do I think that's particularly girly? No, no I don't. That can appeal to anyone. But maybe mine will be extra girly, who knows. Okay, so I've got my stool here, and I think I've basically got exactly the same stool as what they have. I bought mine on Amazon. I think they might have bought theirs on Amazon as well. Now I don't have any sheets of foam stuff that they used, so I'm just gonna use some of this that I already had. And it'll work just fine. I think that looks comfortable. Put the fabric over, tipped it upside down. What did they do? Did they just tie it into a knot? I might have some excess fabric, because if I tie this into a knot, it's just, uh, there's gonna be a lot left over. I feel like I'm screwing this up and I don't know how. What did they do about the legs though? Hang on, did theirs go around the legs? I don't know what I'm doing. No, I think because you need to have the corners so that it goes through. But that's what mine does, oh. I don't know why I'm making this harder for myself. Try that again. Tie it into a knot. This doesn't seem right at all. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. They made it look a lot easier. Why is my fabric planer? Tuck them bits in, I've got, I've got some spares. <sighs> what the hell happened? They make it look so easy. What have I done? If I just keep tucking it, then it, it looks all right. I think they did something else. They did something that they're not telling us because I followed the exact steps and mine doesn't look like theirs. And then just staple it to give it a tufted feel. Okay, so there's mine. I've got a little bit left over at the bottom, a bit too much. I think mine looks shite. It feels comfortable, it feels fine, it doesn't look great, and I wouldn't call it a girl craft. I would just call it a craft. I'm sure they did something different. I think their fabric was thinner than mine. Mine's more of like a canvas. I think that's where I've gone wrong. The thing is, this was supposed to be the presentable one. This was supposed to be the decent craft out of all the ones we're doing, so I dread to think what's coming up next. That's it, there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Not a mess at all. Okay, I think our next craft project is from the exact same video. So I'm not doing this one, but I just find this weird. So you've got a spoiled pumpkin, and they're like pouring concrete on, and they're making this thing. And this is supposed to be appealing to women. So girls are supposed to want to make this. I can't see a girl, a stereotypical girl, making their own sink from scratch and a pretty slapdash, ugly sink like that. I know I wouldn't want to make it. So now they're doing more crafts with cement and I'm not doing any of these because I didn't want to. I've got bloody ad, I don't want to give them any money. Skip it, skip it, skip it, skip it. They earn too much, they already earn millions of pounds. So we've got an ugly plant pot. Oh, this one. I remember watching this one. I was wondering what it is. This is an absolute crazy, weird idea that I would never ever recommend doing. So they're making all this out of foam and they've put some like pipes in and more cement and putting some gravel in. filling it with water. I, I would not recommend making that. It would not. I don't think that would work. I think it would just fall apart. Also, it looks awful. And you start to realize at this point that this is just a compilation videos of loads of different concrete craft ideas, girl crafts. And it goes on and on. And I think there's one more craft in here that I'm going to try, but the rest just seem to be concrete. I, I don't get it. 
Like who in their right mind has the time to make that? Look at this next one as well. So we've got a photo frame and some linen, some fabric and stuff. And you might be thinking, oh, what are they gonna make? They're gonna make like a cutie kind of photo board or something like small and little out of fabric. Just wait for it, it's insane. So they do this and then they start doing it again and you're like, oh, it's getting a bit bigger. I wonder what they're making. A headboard for a bed. You know for a fact that would just fall apart. And if we look at this one as well, you might remember this one from the man crafts that I did. Yes, that's right. This craft project was in five minute crafts for men. And now it's also in five minute crafts girly. The same one, the exact same one. That's not the only one either. There's loads more. I hate this channel so much. Oh, maybe my other craft wasn't in here. I'm looking to see another advert. Oh, and they're also, I, I keep getting distracted. They're also doing another foam thing with the cement over the top, like they did in the last one. But this time, look what they're making. A fish tank. A fish tank. Would you trust yourself? Would you trust five minute crafts? There's living animals in there. Please do not make that. Yeah, it was just the stool in that video. Let's move on to the next one. They've got another ad. Okay, so this video is called 38 Crazy Ideas for Your Home. Let's see how crazy they are. The thing is about half of this video is like lots of little like plant hacks. It's not crazy crafts. It's not girl crafts at all. See, they're just all plant ideas. They're just, it should have been 38 crazy plant pot ideas. More plant pots. Tiny plant pots. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be trying. Ah, oh, another ad. Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got a spoon and a, like a jar of some kind and we're hot gluing the spoon to the jar. Fantastic. Sounds easy enough so far. A bit of twine. So they put a candle in and then they've added some, I assume, essential oils on the top to become maybe like an oil diffuser. I don't think this is a particularly safe idea. I think this is quite dangerous actually. However, I'm going to try it so you don't have to. Okay, so I've got my jar here and it does have a little bit of expandable foam left over from a different project that I'd done. So we're just going to ignore that. Doesn't really matter anyway because the entire thing's so ugly. Right, so we just bend this sp sp spoon. Oh, I nearly broke that in half. That's hanging on by a thread. I don't know my own strength. See, I'm just too manly for this. I can't even do girl crafts. Bit of glue on here. Let's stick you on. Okay, that's stuck on fine. Good. So now we just add some more hot glue, like kind of like around here, and then just wrap it around with twine. Okay, so that's what mine looks like so far. And it looks exactly how you would think it would look. Now, light my candle. Oh, should I have put my candle in first? I'm gonna have to move this spoon and I think it might snap off. Please don't. Don't break. Oh. Okay, light my candle. Ah, tip it and light my candle. It doesn't say it's flammable, but it's oil, so I can imagine it is. So you don't really want to get any on here. Also, I picked a lavender because girls like florals. This is a hideous idea. It's so janky. Like, look at it. <laughs> I don't want to spill any of the oil into the candle because I'm worried that it's flammable. But imagine having guests round and being like, Oh, do you like my new oil diffuser? I'm like, it's a bit shit though, isn't it, Karen? And it's like, but I made it myself. It's like, aye, we can tell, Karen. Is this what girls like? Is it? I don't think it is. I don't think this appeals to anybody. But at least I've done it, so you don't have to. I'm blowing that straight out because I do not trust that at all. <laughs> So then after this weird little oil diffuser that they've made, it just all becomes cutlery hacks and cutlery craft ideas. And it's almost like the editors get to a stage and they're like, oh, we'll just whack in a ton of other unrelated shit into this one video. Like, I, seriously, it's astonishing. These channels have so many views and so many subscribers. It makes me worry about the world. So I think the next lot of all my craft projects are coming from this one video called 24 cheap crafts you haven't seen before. And I'm warning you now, there might be a reason we haven't seen them before. Maya Evans, she's out here. She, she's onto it, she's onto them. She said five minute crafts, 24 cheap crafts you haven't seen before. Also five minute crafts, 
half of them are from other videos that you have seen before. Exactly Maya. In fact, you get a like. So people are aware, they know it's a lot of shite. Oh no, what a mess. We have so many bits of jewellery in our drawer. So the solution is to get some toilet roll holders, glue them together, paper. Okay, so we've got a cylinder. Another toilet roll holder. This is what I'm doing by the way. Cut it. Okay. Glue. Glue there. Okay. Stick it down. Alright. You could have just left it folded. Okay. And you've done that again. And we're doing this. And we're sticking that on there. More glue. Well, this is definitely a cheap idea. A jewellery holder. Okay. Yes, it's definitely a reason why I've never seen that before because no one in their right mind would want to make it except from me I'm gonna do it Okay, so I think five minute crafts girly really missed an opportunity with this one Yes, they used a polka dot pattern which kind of is girly, but not really like full girly So I went for love hearts pink checks very girly So we just put this one in half fold it. I know for a fact this is gonna look hideous Smush it together. Also, if you saw my last video where I did five minute crafts for men, I did in fact get two copyright claims on that video. And it was funny because the copyright claims weren't from the actual videos that I was reacting to in my video. They were from completely different videos on their channels. So it's just a complete mess. I won my copyright claim, by the way. Because fair use, fair use exists. I think it was just an automatic thing anyway. But no doubt when I upload this, I can guarantee I'm going to get a couple of copyright claims. <sighs> Little shit. And I also just wanted to say, if you're a man out there, I don't want you to feel excluded, you know. You are more than welcome to do these crafts also. They might not work because they're just for women. But you can try. You can really, really try your best. I just, I just can't promise anything for you, alright? These are just for us ladies. Maybe that's why I struggled with the stool so much. Just not the right gender. Thing is, 5 Minute Crafts does that thing where they just kind of jump and do like a jump cut. So they don't show all this fiddly stuff that goes wrong. I do. I like to show you is that not everything is as easy as it looks. And it's time to screw up from time to time. Happens to me every time I record a video. Right, okay, that's that one done as well. This is a lot of effort to go to for something that I don't particularly think is going to look good. In fact, I know it's not going to look good. I did watch the Eurovision movie last night on Netflix and it made me cry. So I don't know whether the run-up to Girl Crafts has made me start my period or not. I don't know. But I was very emotional. Had a few tears. Also, it might just be because the world's shit at the minute. I don't know. Okay, so there we go. Pick that off. There's a lovely jewellery holder. But in fact, I do have some jewellery. One second. So I did keep my bracelet that I made in the Mancrafts. Not because I like it. Just because I struggle to throw things away. Oh. Oh my god, just stay it on. I'm not tying you in a knot, I can't be asked. There we go! Yay! Okay, let's see what else 5 Minute Crafts has to offer. Oh, hi! Razor cutting your hair! Oh, this is the weird one. It just... I remember this. For some reason, it all becomes about... Shaving things. Because... How hairy are your legs? They're hairier than mine! Because, for some reason, girls only care about hair removal, you know? And also, 24 cheap crafts you have, they're not crafts. Shaving your legs is not a craft. Like scraping a sticker off a plate, that's not a craft idea. That would be like a life hack. Oh my god, another advert. Why? This is what I'm going to be trying, and it is not a craft project. Definitely not a craft project. I would call it more a life hack. So she's putting on a lipstick and oh no, she's got it on her teeth. That's all that women care about. So to stop that, she adds baby powder to her lipstick. But if you notice, where is it? Where is the baby powder? There's none on your lips. And apparently that stops it getting on your teeth. Now I don't know whether 
that's like a real thing, whether ladies actually do that, whether people who wear lipstick set it, I suppose, with baby powder, I don't know. But I'm gonna try it. Okay, so for this little makeup life hack, I'm just going to be using Max Factor. I don't know whether this is a good lipstick or not, but it is Matte 35 Love. If that means anything to you, zoom us in a bit. Right. Now don't judge how poorly I apply this lipstick. Oh, I, I could do with a mirror actually. I'll just use my phone. I can't be asked to get a mirror. God, on my teeth already. I can make my lips look bigger with lipstick. That's like, you overline them and stuff, don't you? Ah, oh. <sighs> my makeup skills are terrible. That's fine. Looking good. You know, I don't know how people can be asked to wear makeup. It's such a ball ache. I just look like I've been eating something. Now all they do is dip the little brush into some baby powder and I'm gonna actually apply it because that's what you're supposed to do. Um, well, what do I do now? It's just stuck to my lips. Do I wipe it off? But surely when you wipe the baby powder off, your lipstick's gonna come off too. I don't think you're supposed to put this in your mouth. It says keep it away from nose and mouth. Well, you shouldn't do this, should you? See, it's, it's, it's coming off anyway. It hasn't even set it. Does it look good? Do I look pretty? So I'm not sure whether this is... You know what? I'm, I'm kind of feeling myself. Do I suit lipstick? I think I might suit lipstick. Should this be a new look? Mm -hmm. Is is this the thing people who wear makeup do? So I don't know whether this is a good life hack or not. Well, it's coming from 5 Minute Craft, so we know this is a load of crap, don't we? But if you're familiar with makeup, then let me know. Fill me in. Tell me, tell me what the crack is. <laughs> Well, I have attempted to remove the lipstick, but I think it's stained my mouth a little bit. But that's fine, that's okay. And I think some men are kind of insecure about putting makeup on or doing that kind of stuff, as if it makes you less manly. And like, who gives a shit? It's just pain for your face. If you wanna wear lipstick, if you wanna stick stuff on your eyes, if you wanna do whatever you want with your appearance, just do it, just do it, who cares? Anyway, let's see what other crafts I'm gonna be doing. I think I'm only gonna be doing one more because I'm sick of it. Oh, this is right. Because they did one baby powder hack, now they have about 10 little video clips of baby powder life hacks. And this is coming from a video called 24 cheap crafts you haven't seen before. They're not crafts. So after about four minutes of baby powder life hacks, we're onto a craft project that I'm gonna try. So we're using toilet paper. And I do realize that five minute crafts seems to be obsessed with toilet roll and toilet roll tubes. So we're just gonna be folding this toilet roll into like a nice little flower and then a little bit of wire by the looks of things, and a little bit of tape, all the way down. Surprisingly, I don't think that's too bad of an idea. I think that looks all right. So maybe we're gonna finish things on a high. Okay, so we take a bit of bog roll, and this is like the premium Tesco bog roll as well. Yes, I splash out when it comes to wiping my ass. Okay, there we go. There's my toilet roll rollers. I don't think mine looks as nice as theirs does. I think their toilet roll was a bit thicker. And I'm only going to be making one. I'm not going to be making loads because you get the idea. But I think this could actually be a decent craft idea if you swap the toilet roll for just some different coloured papers and it would give you a little bit more strength as well. Toilet roll's a bit floppy. But other than that, I do think this has potential. Surprisingly, it does. I'm going to put it with my little wax plant that I did in the Minecrafts. Oh, maybe the stem needed to be a bit longer. Never mind, never mind. But I think that about does it for today's video of exploring five minute crafts girly. And if I'm honest, I think the five minute crafts girly craft projects, craft projects, were somehow worse than the five minute man crafts that we did in the last video. And I really tried hard to get some decent projects, but Five Minute Crafts Girly is a minefield. It really is. It's such a mess. But let me know down in the comments which one was your favourite. Can't even finish the sentence. I can't take myself seriously. Which one was your favourite girl craft? But hopefully you did enjoy today's mess of a video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Bye.